So we here right now in Charlotte, North Carolina at okay. Kristen and Adrian Airbnb. Super excited for them. And I really want you guys to share your experience that you guys have so far. We're going through, you know, the team legacy program, also securing the unit, getting business funding and things like that. They kind of talk about just your experience. So real quick, um, you know, kind of talk about experience of from start to finish in the program. Like how was that experience for you guys? All right. So first and foremost, um, thank you, Eugene, for your mentorship yes. and your leadership. Yes. Um, definitely. We know that we would not have made it this far without you. So thank you for being selfless. First of all, yes. the experience. Wow. <laughs> A journey. <for> sure. <laughs> the joy and journey. Um, Kristen reached out to me. She saw some videos. We both had the same vision, but we didn't really foresee it being together. It was just, you know, how you think of things. Oh, yeah, maybe one day I can try it. But um, the timing was um, excellent. It was mm -hmm. March 27th, I believe, we joined after being um, on that first uh, Zoom call with you with mm -hmm. others when you was expressing mm -hmm. and sharing how the program would work. Mm -hmm. And it was like, didn't think twice about it. We did it scared. We did it scared by making that first initial um, transaction and that was March 27th so you told us to start off by building um, having a business a LLC creating mm -hmm. that opening a checking account um, thankfully um, my credit was already on point thank you Jesus <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, I see more and more now why it's important to have good credit you need it you know you can't wait till you need something you better yeah. always have it because correct, you never correct, know correct. when you're gonna need 100%. it um, mm -hmm. so long story short um, we both went into the bank together. We opened it, and you said, "Don't wait to open up a, you know, ask for credit, ask for it right yeah. then." So mm -hmm. we did that, and mm -hmm. just amazingly how that worked. It was fifteen thousand for just 100%. that credit card wow. um, at Truist Bank. Shout out to Truist Bank, <laughs> um, and just following your steps, um, telling yeah. us to do the LLC, um, the the Duns number, um, being a part, following what you, you know, what you told us to do. Mm -hmm. um, so we got the business funding from other places, um, working with your team. Seven figure funding. Yes, yeah, seven yeah. figure mm -hmm. funding, shout out to them. Um, and when we reached a certain amount, it yeah. was like, you was like, okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's success. Success. Yeah. Let's go. It was a success, success love, love speed. Speed. Success, success love, speed. love speed. So let's we go. was like, okay, here we go. Then you showed us um, how to actually look for units mm. what was yeah. you know the formula doing that so me and Kristen we both yeah, on yeah, Zillow yeah. like crazy oh yeah, my yeah. god she created excel sheets so we could keep yeah. up with what we were doing um and then wow june 27th i was going to the bank to make this electronic transfer for this unit here where we are now which is wow. a wonderful place in charlotte it's close to everything you can imagine 100%. you know if you got panthers out there hey we're like one <laughs> block from the uh, stadium or excuse me Dope. one mile from the stadium mm -hmm. Dope. Um, so how does it feel that we're here now? I can let Kristen share that part about. I want, I want to ask you guys a question. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. you mentioned that? Um, I know you touched on success, love, speed, and being in program. We have a lot of people that got into the program. Um, you know, I didn't know about marketing before, so we we coach a lot of different people. Um, but one thing I look at a lot of times, people have the words like, "Hey, I want success. Um, I want to win. I want to do this." It just works. And you know what we say is talk is cheap. Yeah. But what I can say, you guys backed up everything that you said you was going to do. Right. And um, you guys move very, very quick. A lot of times you give someone an assignment or a task to do and they take forever to do it or don't do it. But you guys, you did it ASAP. Right. <laughs> so my question for you, as we you know, we talk about the unit and everything, like what was the motivation behind that? Because you guys took massive action. You guys got your website. You mm -hmm. took initiative, made your own website, built your brand. The LLC, you guys got that set up within two weeks. We're like, hey, you need to apply here. You got that done. You didn't waste no time. Like what was the motivation or the driving factor behind that? That's a great question. I think for me like this. I, I've dreamed of this. It isn't just like one day I'm like, hmm, how can I make some money? I wanted to do this for a long time. So with the drive and the passion was already there, but the skills and the wisdom and the steps were not until we found you. Yeah. And we only have you for a certain period of time, so I'm not yeah. trying to waste no time because if I have questions, I need to reach out to Eugene and team. Yeah. So we just, I think with those two things combined, like knowing that time is of the essence, success does love speed, and I've been wanting this for a long time. Yeah. We've been wanting to do something together, and wow. it just, it all just unfolded. Um, exactly the way it needed to. So I think that's kind of what it was for me. Like, this is my passion. I've watched so much HGTV. So, <laughs> you know, I'm on TikTok all the time. Like, oh, look how she decorated that. Oh, look how she did that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's very important to us too, was it is about our legacy, right? It is about, you know, when we were at my grandmother's house, her house, her mom's house, it was comfy. She made mm. sure we were good. And so 
wanting to allow others to experience that same warmth, that same comfort, mm -hmm. um, and being able to like manifest that through a business, it was a win-win. So I think we also, we, we know our strengths and we play together very well. Mm -hmm. um, so if there was times where we need to do something quick, like if we needed to find, you know, like the 10 people to say yes, the 10 landlords to say yes, well, I'm in my in my lunch break, I'm, whatever I am, I'm reaching out, Zillow, Zillow, Zillow. But she's more um, organized and administrative. So like she's making sure all the money is good, that the LLC, like all the boxes are checked off. And so mm -hmm. we just mesh and, and work like that. And we already talk every day anyway. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. why not let's talk and make this money and, and help both of our families succeed? I think that's kind of where it all blended in and why we have so much drive for this because we're just, we're hungry for it. Wow, yeah. well, I'm, that's dope, man. I'm excited <laughs> for you guys. Uh, um, you guys put in the work, right? Um, yeah. You got the finished result, got the unit set up. You guys already got bookings, but it's because of the work that you guys put in the beginning, right? A lot of times we can't see the finish line yet, right? But you have to put in the work to get there. And one thing we always say in business and entrepreneurship is never a finish line. Those mm. want to keep going, right? Well, entrepreneurship is, it's a marathon. It's, it's never, uh, it's not a rush, right? You always want to keep going. You want to keep growing. You want to have a vision for the next step and next thing that you're going to do. So last question I have for you guys is like, how do you guys feel right now to finally have your unit set up, went through the process, had some ups and downs, some hurdles. Like, kind of talk about the hurdles that you guys went through, oh, right? Oh, God. you're going to go through some hurdles. Oh. Kind of talk about that, and then talk about the finished product. Well, but first, you got to say how it is. <laughs> oh, man. You made me think about it in the word where it says the reward is greater than the sacrifice. So mm -hmm. um, this is rewarding to be sitting here having a conversation yeah. with you, not even being able to see it, but to... To see it, like you said, manifest itself, mm. it's like, I'm in awe, and I'm like, Lord, I thank you. I mean, I've been literally thanking God, um, you know, for you, for the mentorship, for it actually happening. I never saw this, but yeah. I'm, I'm grateful and I'm thankful to be sitting here, and I'm going to let Krista do the rest, because I want to give that piece, <laughs> but it, me, it's like, I don't even have a word. <laughs> like, you know what they say, if I, could, if I could say a word. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. <wipe> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll let you put what it in words. You, <laughs> yeah, I there were so many hurdles, and I think yeah. the, the toughest thing is, and I and I have I, we we talk to people now, and they're like, well, how'd you do it? How'd you do it? And we say, well, don't get a hundred year old house, yeah. because we ran into every single thing you can think of, and when we thought. When we are going through, we're like, okay, we just have to fix this shower door, and we just have to, you know, clean the fireplace up, and it'll be fine. No, there were so many other things that just popped up in the process that, yeah. um, you know, and, and when we do have to get repairs, it's like, okay, this repair is going to cost double than we had projected. Yeah. And then we had issues with, with our team, making sure that you have a team that's trustworthy, your repairman. Yes. We did not have a trustworthy repairman, and that kicked us back in our schedule to be done um, and then now we have a pretty we have a great handyman who's you know responsible for what you're seeing yeah. now yeah. Um, so I think turning the home because it was not a turnkey home mm -hmm. at all right yeah. turning it into something that's comfortable and that's clean and that's um, sightly <laughs> right and that was like I think that's like the majority of our hurdles Second yeah. would be like, you know, getting the trustworthy team, like I mentioned. And then now I'm what I'm feeling right now, because we have a guest coming soon. Yeah. Is now I'm <laughs> I'm in a little bit of um, I don't know what you call it, but I want everything to be perfect. Yeah. And perfect. in my head, I'm like, oh, this isn't right. Or, oh, we don't have that many of this or what did they run out of this? So I have all of that going on right now. And I'm just like, I don't want I don't want to disappoint them. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to disappoint the guests. I don't even want them to be like. Oh, it was a little warm, or, or you know, the <laughs> smallest thing is going to upset me. So I really want them to enjoy themselves, and I don't want anything less than a five star. Yeah, you always, right? you always want to aim for the stars. Aim high, yeah. right? And you fall where you fall. Right? Always aim high. But you, you mentioned something that made me think about this, and I think a lot of people need to hear this. Um, even up and coming entrepreneurs is done is better than perfect. Yeah. Right. What you guys, you know, did everything. And a lot of times, you know, sometimes, you know, people procrastinate doing certain things because they can't get everything done how they want it or properly. Oh, yeah. And it slows them down, right? Mm -hmm. They got procrastination, now it's paralysis because they want everything to be like this, but done is better than perfect. Yes. And you always improve along the way. What yeah. can I improve on the next step? What can I improve? You always look to improve. Yes. So that's one thing, like if you're an entrepreneur, you know, probably watching this or um, looking at this, you want to know, hey, how can I get this done, right? How can I get this done efficiently? 
and then you know you put, begin to perfect it along the way. Mm -hmm. Stuff is never going to be perfect, right? I don't care what it is; it's never <laughs> going to be perfect. Yep, yep. Right? Um, a marriage is not perfect. Relationship is not perfect. Business is not perfect. But you always could work on it, right? So I would say that. I mean, we're here in the unit now. As you guys can see, it look really, really good. Um, you want to make sure, obviously, you just have main things like uh, stocked up with linens, towels, um, uh, stuff. The place is clean, which is the important thing when it comes to Airbnb. And you guys got three book. How many book? Three bookings already? Four. Four, four bookings. bookings. My bad. <laughs> four bookings in so, four days. Yes. Four bookings. Boom, 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 boom. And then, how long did you guys have listed for? Like what? We listed it on Monday. Monday. So now you're in a full week. <laughs> now you're a full week, and you got four bookings already. That's it. That's it. Wow. That's and it. And then you're panicking. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Accurate. Spot on. Wow. But, uh, I wasn't here with her the first book. Of the, I was out of state. So yeah. I was like feeling bad because I wanted to be here with her to make sure that everything. Everything was good. Was yeah. Good. But, but it, she, it, she did it. She handled it like a boss. The guests, the guests mm -hmm. um, had a great stay. Um, this is a good unit. And you have me at four bookings. Are, it's good. This is just the beginning. Yes. Uh, one thing I want to say, um, I think I mentioned this early before we, we started, is embrace the journey and the process. Right when I reflect on when I first got started in business, or when I first got started in short-term rental, and I looked at it like, man, because I mean, I was like, I panicked when we got our first book. <laughs> we listed our property, we got a booking one hour later. Wow. Yeah, it was like, yo, what I was like, what? what? And then we didn't get everything finished set up. We like, right, oh right. man, we gotta do this, right, do this, right, do this, do this. Right. And stuff was still not set up all the way. Yep, yep. And um, I still was panicking because there was only they booked for like a day or two. Mm -hmm. So when they're checking into the unit. It came with all these luggages and suitcases, like it was moving. Like, <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm like, yo, are you trying to move into the unit? Hold on, like, this is not what it is. I'm like, no, 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 we're here for work and such and such. And I was like, I was skeptical. I'm like, hold on, I don't want them to be trying to stay here for 30 days and no trying to kick them out in squatters, no squatters. Yeah. you know. And um, but it ended up working out, wow. you know. But you have that feeling, and it's like, in life, you got to go through that, right? You got to go through that that feeling, that nervousness, and um, just go through the process, but also enjoy it because. Mm -hmm. Things that you go through make you stronger, right? As an entrepreneur, you're going to go through different hurdles. And one thing we always focus on is the mindset. You know, one thing we focus on personal development. Like, uh, being an entrepreneur, you got to have faith. Oh, yes. You got to be a guy. Sure. Hold on, man. Yes. A miracle got to happen, right? Because you're going to have some ups and downs. That's but it. as an entrepreneur, you got to have faith. You're going to go through problems. I don't care what it is. But your process, enjoy it. Everyone have a different process. Just like your, your, your name is Joy and Journey, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. You got to enjoy it. But also the journey is going to be different for everybody. Yeah. Nobody's going to have the exact same journey. I tell that to everybody because sometimes what people do is they compare. This person had a smooth journey, right? Mm -hmm. We had a mentee. Similar situation, like you have great credit. The mentee had like almost a 790 credit score. So she came into the program, got 100K in business funding, Ooh. rocking and rolling, right? Yeah. Other mentees like, whoa, what's going on with me? It's like, well, she already had the credit. Mm -hmm. Your journey is different. Some people went through the process, got the credit cleaned up, mm -hmm. got funding, and was able to get into a unit, right? But sometimes you appreciate it so much more when you go through those hurdles. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. You know, one quick story, one mentee, he had to restructure so much stuff on his credit. He had high credit utilization. Mm -hmm. He had a couple of negative items. So we got that off his report. Then we had to show him a strategy where we told him, hey, shift, the, I'm telling you, shift right. the personal debt put on the business to bring down his credit utilization because he had high credit cards before he got into our program. And he got approved for a Sam's Club credit card for 8K and the minimum, I think he had like a 600. And I said, hey, shift your personal debt, put on the business credit card. And his score shot up. He got nice. to a 700 credit score, followed everything to the T. It took time because it's not a quick process. Right. Mm -hmm. But he got approved for $50,000 with Chase Bank. Awesome. Right? Awesome. right? Yeah. But now he appreciated the journey so much. Mm -hmm. like, man, thank you. Now he appreciated it. Um, and sometimes we got to go through different things to appreciate what we have yeah. later on in the reward. Yes. So I want to commend you guys. Man, congratulations again. Oh, thank you. Um, getting in Thanks your you. unit. Yay! Yeah. The process and the sacrifices that you guys made, and um, <laughs> let's keep going, let's right? We celebrate yeah. now, but now it's time to put a vision, okay. mm -hmm. get back to it, right? Mm -hmm. Set another a goal, milestone, and get back to it. So um, that's pretty much it. That's it. Thanks, Eugene. Thank you, no Eugene. Doubt. Awesome.